Welcome to another episode here on my channel, the RV Mate. Um, yeah, what are we gonna do today? Well, first you can see that, well, here, no cushions anymore and no curtains. I took the curtains out and um, the cushions as well because my mom, she is so nice and she's gonna clean them for me. Which is good because I don't need to uh, do that on my own. And to, for today, what I wanna, oh, by the way, by the way, because I mentioned that in the other video, um, I have a new second battery. I got that one on the eBay, eBay marketplace the other day. Um, pretty good offer. It's a 90, 92 amp hours uh, AGM battery. And that's more than enough for now. So at least I can, you know, turn on lights and stuff like that or this fan here if I wanna cook or, oh, by the way, that one is on. We can turn that one off. So yeah, everything works fine. Lights here. So that's pretty cool. And what I wanna do today is, um, I wanna get this carpet here out for the dashboard and the, the ones here on the sides and there's the same one under the seat here because um, I'm gonna go and get a new one tomorrow. I mean, look at these ones. They're like, it's, they're not in the best condition anymore. Even rusty, ow. Ah, there you go, rusty screws. Oh my gosh, ah, that hurts. Um, so yeah, that's the job for today and I wanna jump right into it. So let's go. So before we start, just to let you know, a little preparation is um, you need to open the, the speaker's case because uh, you can't just take these ones off because they're screwed into this board underneath. I think there's a, it's a timber board or something. Yeah, it's a timber board as you can see. So yeah, we need to take those screws off um, on both sides. It's pretty easy. Just open that one with a screwdriver and that's it. Um, yeah, and then you can just unscrew these screws and just take it off. Alrighty guys, screws are pretty much out. Um, what I need to do now is just uh, to disconnect the, the speakers. No, I'm gonna get new ones anyway in the new case. So yeah, I'm gonna keep them for now, but later I wanna get new ones. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we should be able to lift uh, the carpet up. Yep, looks good, looks good. I'm just gonna uh, collect all, the oh no, I missed one. I'm just gonna uh, put the screws in a, all the screws in a container or something like that. Uh, um, but I'm, I think I'm gonna get new ones anyway. They're all right, a bit rusty. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna just grab a container and put them inside. Or maybe I'll just grab this, put them inside. And the washes as well. And this, look at this washer. 30, not 27 years old, I guess. So, speaker, case, let's see, some stuff inside here. And that's it. Okay, get the cable out here. Oh, there you go, that's it. Oh, the connector but um, yeah it's not not important for now and number two oops and that's it oh as you can see uh, we have a bit of mold here um, here and on this side as well it's probably because of the moisture um, yeah but I mean, we can clean that as well. So I'm gonna get that one out as well. Just need to unscrew these parts here. And then I'm gonna give it a swipe and maybe I'm gonna sand it a bit. I have the same uh, problem upstairs with the bed. Um, yeah, I need to clean that, put some disinfection on it or something like that. Maybe chlorine and then um, I bought some sandpaper today, so I'm gonna sand it a bit and it should be fine. All right, let's have a look what we have here. So 
because we have tons of wires here and the other day I found this one here I don't even know what this is is it even yes it is connected no it's not okay that's that it looks like maybe an old antenna because I have two antennas left and right I don't know which one's for the radio at the moment so this is for the speakers probably connected to the you to the radio and it's the other one and uh, oops I'm gonna take these ones to the side I'm gonna chuck that one out and now I'm gonna unscrew the board just took a board here and it's a bit dirty I might need to give it another swipe later all right I mean, you, as you can see, it's a bit moldy or not. It, used to, it was wet here, as you can see, so that's probably because of the water condensation at the window. So, yeah. Um, by the way, the reason why I want to take this one off as well is um, underneath this one here, there should be a, um, like a foam cover underneath uh, from the engine bay into the driver's cabin to reduce um, the sounds and probably also for the for the engine heat I really know I'm not an expert so but what I figured out is that this one is like um, in a pretty pretty bad state so I want to renew that one as well and now I'm already thinking about maybe getting a whole new board here but yeah for that I need to get that one out and then cut a new one so I don't know maybe I should do that and I also need to figure out where I can get the the foam from someone told me it should be special foam like a foam that is like uh, I think what did he mention fire resistant or something like that fire heat resistant I mean because it's um, right next to the not right next to the engine but inside the engine bay which makes uh, obviously sense yeah still need to think about it how I'm gonna do that so and where I can get this one from maybe I should give it a little swipe and clean it before I take it off otherwise I'm gonna have this whole dirt inside and I don't want that so but first uh, yeah I'm gonna take all the screws off I'm not really sure if I should do this now because I still want to drive this one tomorrow I think I'm gonna leave it for now and um, just get the carpet off down there and at the seats as well and then tomorrow maybe I'm gonna take t no maybe I'm gonna do it when the uh, I still need to think about I'm not sure at the moment so I think we're just gonna have to go forward with this one and do I need to is it how far is it in? Oh no, okay, I can just take this one off. Yeah, right, I think I'm gonna go for it and um, just move on and take the other carpets out. Maybe I'm gonna start with the seats because that should be pretty simple. Alrighty, guys, it's off. And now, luckily, I bought a scraper because I knew this was going to happen. I don't even know how you call this stuff here, but that's the, the from the back of the carpet here. So. It's just like feels like like I don't know foam or something. So I just need to get that off and clean it a bit, and then do the other side as well. But yeah, good that I bought the scraper because it makes it a bit easier, as you can see. Yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be a mess afterwards, but it's okay. I can't change it. That's a moment. So I usually say. It is what it is. Okay, I'm done with the chair so far. I mean, there's still a bit on it, but that should be fine. I might give it another clean with the cleaner, but most of the stuff is off now. So now I'm struggling here with the, with 
this one on this side with the fuse box. You know, I un unscrewed that one, but um, yeah, I want to be careful. It's, I can't get it out. It's a bit hard to get out. And I don't want to disconnect anything or, you know, I mean, I think I've got it. There is a screw on top here and then I'm pretty sure I can take the cover off so I can um, get the carpet out. Um, uh, okay, I need to put the camera by side to hold it. Believe it or not, there's one underneath. No! How am I supposed to get that one out? I can't, like, no! Alright, I can't really turn it around. Oops. So, I don't know. Like, can I turn it? Not at all. Uh, so I need to crawl on, on the floor and try to get it out with an angle. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, guys, I've done it. So I was able to get this kind of chassis here for the fuse box or this kind of metal thing out where it's mounted mount to and um, yeah now it's off and now I should be able to get the carpet out one handed yeah oh gosh okay be the other way around first and now the other side and there you go done beautiful I'm pretty sure it's still the first carpet in here like the other ones okay folks this side looks kind of all right now i just need to get a screw i need to i think i need to grab a plier for it because that one is like it one oh oh maybe first you know get those screw covers off with a, with a screwdriver and then i'm gonna unscrew that one and get the carpet off oh, there are some more screws yeah i need to figure out where they are so I'm gonna do this now. Alrighty, I'm done guys. Look at this. Most of the stuff is off. Um, on both sides, I mean it's dirty anyway, so. But I'm gonna clean it up tomorrow. And by the way, I mean, I have this uh, switch here for the for the gas heater and just to let you know if you find something like this still connected make sure you're just gonna disconnect it because someone just cut it and left it there you know still connected I don't understand those people so make sure if you find something like this chuck it out take it off now it's well kind of beautiful alrighty um that's it for today and um, tomorrow I'm gonna bring the carpets to the shop and um, yeah we'll see what I'm gonna do tomorrow maybe I'll just um, put on the I bought a reverse camera for the for the RV so maybe I'm gonna do that tomorrow but we'll see so peace out and see you next time Pew.